You told me your number? I just gave it to you. Yeah, no, I know. I just want to make sure I have the right one. Right. Um, just let me see it and you I... can't repeat it from memory? There's been a ton of horror news. Let's talk about Spin the Bottle, which just got a trailer. This is the latest film starring Justin Long, which takes the popular game Spin the Bottle, makes it into a horror movie, because that's what you gotta do nowadays. You find something that you see normally, like on my desk right now, I see some headphones, killer headphones. I don't know. That's just how it feels nowadays. But nonetheless, we give everything a chance, right? We never know. We might just be intrigued. So before we get into it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification. But we're on the road to 35,000 subscribers, less than 2,000 to get to that. So let's get to it. But this is the newest film, and it's called Spin the Bottle. Like I said, you have Justin Long starring in this. The synopsis reads, when a group of friends play Spin the Bottle in a house marked by a brutal massacre, they unknowingly unleash an evil spirit and start dying in terrifying ways. Now, the survivors must stick together to uncover the house's dark sea and end the bloodshed. The movie stars Tanner Steen, Kaylee Kaneshiro, Tony Amendola, Ryan Whitney, Hal Cumston, Angela Halili, Ali Larder, Samantha Cormier, and of course Justin Long. I watched the trailer. I'm going to tell you, it has some interesting shots here and there. I don't know exactly how I'm going to feel about it. If I think this is going to be great or not. Like, I don't want to be somebody who judges based off the first, like, two minutes of it. But, you know, it has some interesting flares to it. So we'll see. We'll see how Spin the Bottle will do. Well, another film that's coming out this Halloween which I'm pretty sure all of us know how we feel about it is Saw. Saw returns back to theaters for the first time with the unrated version. So the new Saw film is 20 years so Saw will be celebrating its 20 year anniversary with the original Saw playing with the unrated cut. This is part of Fathom Events for the 20th re-release of Saw and this is going to be the first time you'll be able to see it in theaters. So October 20th and 23 there will be a, a special intro from Tovin bell and they will be discussing the saw fandom as well and the performance so fathom events previews it by saying dismember the memories and delve deeper than ever into the film's unrated story of kramer whose moral code speaks to rejuvenating a love for life in his victims via a series of deadly tests and games what kramer offers the lucky ones who survive his Fiendishly clever traps is the most precious of gifts. Gratitude to be among the living. So the tickets are now on sale and you can definitely check it out. Are you going to be watching this film or not? It's not Halloween without Saw. It really isn't. So let's get into Woman of the Hour, a new film from Anna Kendrick's directorial debut that is coming to Netflix this October. And apparently it's based on a true story. So they do have the teaser trailer for it and we checked it out. So the trailer, which is directed by Anna Kendrick, really showcases a very chilling and disturbing scenario here where a woman goes on a dating game show and ultimately chooses the guy. And it turns out the guy is a serial killer so i thought that that was an interesting premise here to be set up i think that in the film well well from what we see from the trailer as well it is very well shot there's some interesting aspects to it and a kendrick stars here you also have daniel savato and you have him playing rodney alcala who was also the one who it's based upon which i think is interesting here now i haven't really read up into this case and i'm interested in doing so so maybe we'll do a video about it but i really am fascinated by this trailer just everything about it it gave me goosebumps which is incredible for a trailer to do especially with a thriller or horror is to really give you that feeling you're supposed to feel and i'm excited to see what Anna kendrick does here but the film will be coming out on netflix scheduled to be released october 18th 2024 i didn't get the chance to watch it over at tiff which is a bummer but we are definitely excited to see it once it does release so very very excited for this one right here now speaking of netflix they have their monster series with the first season being the jeffrey Dahmer. Uh, season and now we're about to get the Law and Eric Menendez story this week and they've already said we got number three on the way which is going to be based on Ed Gein who of course is one of the inspirations for Leatherface and other uh, things in cinema but Ryan Murphy's Netflix anthology 
Monster will be coming out with the Ed Gein story and it's reported by The Hollywood Reporter that Charlie Hunnam will be playing Ed Gein in the next one. It says each cycle of the Monster franchise intends to tackle a different true crime story after the massive success of the 2022 debut of serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer. Known as the Butcher of Plainfield, Ed Gein was a grave robber and murderer who committed his monstrous crimes in the 40s and 50s in Plainfield, Wisconsin. So basically what you're going to see here is this story be brought onto the screen and I don't know, we'll definitely see what this is going to be like. I know a lot of people feel some way about the monster series and I totally understand that as well. So we'll see, we'll see. Well, the final thing I want to talk about is that Alien Earth, which is coming out next year, which is being uh, taken on by Noah Hawley. He talked a bit about what the Xenomorphs and all of that would be like. So he explained this during the deadline Emmy's red carpet. There's something about seeing a Xenomorph in the wilds of Earth with your own eyes that is truly chilling. To think of it moving here among us. And so I can't tell you what under what circumstances you'll see that, but you'll see it. And you're going to lock your door that night. What was really fun for me was to really engage with the creature, bring some of my own thoughts to its design while not touching the silhouette, but some of those elements as we know, whatever the host is, informs what the final creature is. I just want to play around a little bit to make it as scary as it could be. So we're definitely excited about that, and FX has teased to expect a thrill ride set not too far in the future here on Earth. When a mysterious space vessel crash lands on Earth, a young woman and a ragtag group of tactical soldiers make a fateful discovery that puts them face to face with the planet's greatest threat. So you know what? I I'm pretty pretty pumped to see what this is going to be. This is going to be coming out next year and you know we've had a pretty good year with Alien Romulus. Some people hate it, some people love it, but we still are getting fed the Alien franchise. And I'm good with that. I'm good with that. But anyways, let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything we talked about from the Spin the Bottle movie to Woman of the Hour, as well as Charlie Hunnam playing Ed Gein and the Alien Earth show that's coming out. So we got a ton of things this week. We got um, Agatha. We got Penguin. We got The Substance coming out. It's a pretty packed weekend, and I'm excited to talk all these things with y'all. So make sure you're subscribed. Notification bell on on the road to 35,000 subscribers. Let's get to it. And as always, that's going to do it. Check us out on Instagram as well as our website, www.culturelixer.com, and all that other good stuff. As always, stay safe, stay positive.